Hello, 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 hello. In this video, uh, we're going to do a very, very brief introduction to a thing called Tmux, or Tmux, or Tmux, or whatever the hell you want to pronounce it, or pronunciate it in any way you like. I don't know what I'm saying. Christ. Let's... Okay, that was a horrendous start, but oh well, we'll carry on going. Right. So, Tmux is how I'm going to pronounce it from now on, here on out. Uh, this is going to be a really short video introducing you to the most basic thing you need to know to get it to work on your computer because there's a few little things that all the other tutorials I've seen and when I was trying to learn Tmux just missed out. So we're going to go uh, and start Tmux. So how do you download it first? How do you install it, Shane? Well, if you're on a, a Mac, a Macintosh, you can do brew install and then you can type in Tmux. That is assuming you've got homebrew installed. If you haven't, install homebrew and then you can do that. This is all good. Um, if you're on Linux, it's sudo atp install tmux. I don't know what it is if you're on Windows. Uh, also, that depends on your distribution. Obviously, some it will be sudo yom and some it will be sudo pacman to install it. Um, but yes, how do we actually start a tmux session? Will you just type in tmux? Right, so now we're in a session. Oh, what can we do? Well, we've noticed you've got this little green bar down here. Ooh, that's interesting. So uh, what we can do is we can actually create uh, a new one of those. So it basically works the same way as tabs, uh, this, this start bit we're going to talk about. Um, and you might be wondering, why the hell will we bother using Tmux, Shane, when if we're using modern terminals like iterm2 in Mac, we already have tabs. See, there's a tab. Oh, we'll get rid of that. Oh, look. We can do split screen tabs, and we can do other split screen tabs. Wow, isn't that cool? Uh, yes, but you might not always be on uh, Mac, for one, um, and you might be on, let's say, a server that has Tmux. You can easily install Tmux on there, and you could be used to your entire workflow using Tmux on any computer, pretty much, whereas you won't always have item on the, uh, the machine you're working on. So Tmux is quite good for that. Um, so, we've got one thing open. Let's see how do we open something else. Well, the first thing to point out is that Tmux, when you try and do something with Tmux, you use what's called a prefix. Now, a standard, that is control and B. Not command, control and B. That's what that pointy little arrow hat thing is. Now, the thing to point out here is it's not a press control and B, hold, and then press the next thing. So, let's say you'll see um, tutorials will say things like, prefix plus C, right? And that doesn't mean hold B, control B, which is the prefix. That's what they call the prefix in Tmux, control B, and then press C and like hold it down. No, it means press control B together, let it go, and then press your other keys. That's a, a really thing, a thing that wound me up when I was trying to learn Tmux, because no one explained this. It took me ages to figure this one out. Now I have mine set slightly differently, so you're going to see me pressing Control A, and I'll show you how to change yours to make it a bit easier, because pressing Control B is an absolute nightmare, it's a tyrannical mess, and we should never have adopted it ever, 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 but I'll show you how to fix it so you can you don't have to stretch your fingers so far. Um, so I'm going to type it Control A, like that, and then we'll create a new one, we'll create a new little tab, press C, and oh look at that! Down here we have two of these cheeky little tabs. Now if we want to move between them, what we can do is we do control A and we can do zero to go back to zero. So if I just type something there and then control one and we go back to one and the same thing. So we can go back and forth as you like. So that, that's all very good. Uh, so there's your basic switching between tabs. Um, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is be cool and split the screen. So how do you do that? Well, again, we press the Tmux, uh, the, the prefix, not the Tmux. And then let's say we want to split it um, vertically, we can do uh, percent sign. Oh, it's too slow. Percent sign. There you go. Now we've got it split uh, nice and vertically like that. And maybe you want to split it horizontally. Well, you can do the same thing. Prefix, but this time we're going to do double speech marks. And double speech marks will split it vertically. Uh, let's say you decide, no, this is a terrible mistake. I hate this. I, uh, I, want to get, I want to get back. Well, we can exit out of this. We can just type in exit. And there we go, it's gone, it's disappeared. Now, maybe you're thinking, hmm, you know what, Shane? I want to alter the size of this. Well, the way you can do that, now I'm gonna get this wrong, I guarantee you, the first time I do it, it's gonna be prefix, then alt, and then 
press down the arrow like that and hold down alt and then press down the arrow and you can move things around okay uh, we can do that how do you switch between the windows uh, this one is can prefix and then you press your arrow see how we can type over here now prefix press your arrow whoops I pressed the wrong arrow there we go and now we can type over here isn't that cool and you could do the same thing let's say we we brought back our yeah the horror the, the this one I was gonna say horizontal yes horizontal this split one or we can do the same thing we do the up down up arrow we can do the down arrow we can do the left arrow we can do the right arrow and we can go back and forth between them so that's how you move between them and that's how you move them and of course you can do the same thing if you wanted to resize this window you maybe want to make it nice and small so we can go uh, down and then we can do this alt drag it down make it nice and small for whatever reason maybe you're just feeling kooky today uh, you can do that um, so that is a lot of what I wanted to cover just the bare bones basics of Tmux the next thing I did actually want to cover is um, how we can make this control B thing go away and use control A instead and how we could also um, negate the tyranny of having to type in control A and then pressing an arrow button that's three buttons we've got to press when we could just press alt or option and then just move uh, between panes like that so we can do that using something called the uh, tmux configuration uh, and so the way we can get to that is that will be like this so if you do that vi if you're going to use vim and type in squiggly uh, forward slash dot tmux.conf now you might not have that file it might not even exist after you install tmux but for me it exists so actually what I'm going to do I'm going to exit out of this one don't want this one anymore there we go um, and so I've got some stuff set up here so what we've got this is my remap from control B to control A because I don't want to deal with that tyranny uh, and so what the, hell I, what the hell have I done there whatever okay fine um, and if you take this all we've got here and I'll put this in the, the doobly doo in the description we can remap control B to control A and these things I've got down here are what prevents us from having to press in control A or control B if you decide to stick with control B whatever reason you would have for doing that uh, and then pressing your arrow key to move between panes um, another thing you might want to do is you might want to say oh this green I don't like it I want to change it how do you do that well the way we can do that Shane uh, you're not Shane I'm Shane bloody hell uh, what you can do is we can do uh, let's give it a little comment we can say colors we can say set G status uh, if we want to check the foreground we can change the foreground by doing FG but let's say we want to make that green Ooh. do the same thing again and we can do status BG for background not the uh, not the group who sang that song that I can't remember what it's called. How deep is your love? Uh, yes. There we go. Quit out of that. And if we exit out of Tmux, real quick, reload the whole thing. Oh my God! Look at that. Doesn't that look cool and matrixy? We now have uh, a nice little bar down below. Uh, another thing as well, I forgot to show you is what if you wanted to get out of like this one here? You wanted to close this tab. Well, there's two ways you can do it. So I'll, I'll create another one real quick. So we can either do exit. Or you could do uh, Command A X, and then it'll give you the option to kill the pain. Look at that, we've killed the pain. We're like morphine. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to cover. That should give you uh, enough of a starting point to actually uh, have a go with Tmux. See if you like it. Uh, give it a go. It is quite good. Um, so yes, hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments below. I will try and answer them all. And uh, Au revoir for now, chaps.